games for this Oral Roberts team. Just the first five guys, 493 as of tonight. St. Thomas, their entire roster is at 560. That's 13 guys versus five. And it, when you take a look at Oral Roberts on both ends of the floor, I think where that's borne out the most, Jay, is the way that they communicate defensively. They really communicate well, and on the offensive end, the nonverbal communication is really exceptional. And St. Thomas showing a little bit of a zone look here to try to stymie the offensive firepower of Oral Roberts. You're ten to shoot. Jurgens looking to get it inside to A. Smith. He's got it by Kendall Blue. A. Smith. The defense there from Blue, the youngster, but Oral Roberts gets it back at a second chance. Here's Van over now. Up and over the top, and that is not something that's tough for a guy that stands 7'5. No, and that was a difficult shot because you know he 7'5, it's easy to easier to get leverage, and he was kind of knocked off balance, showing excellent touch. And this is where he's really impacted the defensive end of the floor is Van Owen. Here's Rody guarded tightly there by Jurgens. He swings it out all the way around it goes. Riley Miller, the senior sharpshooter for this Tommy's team. Didn't score the other night. Was 0 for 2 from the field in the win against Western Illinois. She almost changed it right there. Starting lineup for Oral Roberts. Thompson, Aismas, McBride, Jurgens, and Vanover. And again, we mentioned that experience. These guys have a ton of it. That starting lineup brought to you by Dakota Bank. Vanover, it's easy to step out of bounds when you have shoes that you have to dock. Rody, too strong, had it clean underneath. He did, you know what, he was trying to locate Vanover. He took his eye off the target. Big fella pulls up, three off the mark, rebound for Rody. Brooks Allen here, Vanover in front. Yorkland had a big night the other night against Western Illinois along with Rody. Blue had to go up and that's Shot disruption over the length of Van over. You see that there. You've got to play it differently when he's in and around that painted area. Nice job defensively. Really good job by Riley Miller. Thompson had him back down. He brought the ball down and Miller made him pay. Good job of double teaming, forcing the turnover. Here's Bjorklund as Darren mentioned was playing intramural ball just a couple of years ago. And Johnny Tower says, hey. Hey, why don't, you, why don't you give college basketball a try? It worked out pretty well for both sides. I think it's worked out well for everyone, and it certainly worked out well in that possession because Oral Roberts forgot he was left-handed dominant. He's able to turn to get downhill. Here's McBride now inside out. Jurgens. So already a slower start offensively for Oral Roberts than we saw in their quarterfinal win over North Dakota. They were red hot from the go that night. And what they haven't done as well as they did in the start of that game versus North Dakota is attack off the dribble and get into the paint. There is McBride. There's so many options well, offensively. Yeah, McBride could beat you from deep. He's a second team all summit league performer. Allen with Vanover closing. Somehow that doesn't go down. Eastman pushes the tempo. Here's Thompson now. Another miss right here for Oral Roberts in the early going. Allen looking to attack Vanover. Now he picks up his dribble. Yorkland can shoot the three. And Allen gives it a shot instead, and he buries it. That's helpful, you know. Allen. Not a stellar three-point shooter at 30 percent. Look, you have to make that shot and pull Van over away from the rim to provide maybe some driving opportunities for a guy like Rody. McBride, good handles there, falling away, in and out, rebound for Miller. Good job of keeping him in front. Allen now, again, penetrating, drawing the big fellow deep underneath and kicking it out, but you see his shot-blocking prowess right there. Now back for Rody, though, as they keep it alive. I tell you what, I love Kendall Blue. That kid had his shot blocked. Did he hang his head? No. He kept with it, 
kept the possession alive for Rody to come in and finish it with a three. Blue part of that 2022, heralded 2022 recruiting class for Johnny Tower and the Tommies, along with a Johnny Lee. As ORU now 0 for 4 to start tonight from the perimeter. This is a team in Oral Roberts that makes 11 for ball game. Allen got that over off balance. Sean went right around him. And that was made possible. Remember a couple possessions ago, he knocked down the three. Vanover had to come out and respect that. Got Vanover a little bit off balance, able to turn and get by. 8 nothing run for the Tommies. Vanover to answer, and he does. I mean, that's almost like not fair <laughs> when you can throw it up to him at the rim and that's not a fluke He has an outstanding touch really good foul shooter can beat you from deep 34% of the time as well Cody looking to create some space Jurgens Staying right on his hip though Thompson switches off in front of him now and here's Bjorklund late shot clock and have to hurry here Strong up and finishes it off the window for Parker Bjorklund Really fortunate for Bjorklund. He got that off because Vanover was about a half step late behind and a big reason for that He knows he has to honor Allen because he knocked down a three on him. He was kind of shading out Max Asmus with his first triple of the ball game. First three pointer for ORU, and it's 12 10. Yorklin catch and shoot quick, left it well short. Thompson's right in his face there. Yeah, Thompson's a really good defender as well as very, very efficient with the basketball. Thompson leads the Summit League in assist turnover ratio. Asmus not afraid to pull that no. trigger from anywhere. If you're, if you're on the right side of the logo, you. It's go time. Riley Miller can't get one to go. He's going to watch McBride here on the trail. Nice job by Rudy of finding him. Thompson kicks it out. Jurgens will try another. Lots of threes flying here early. And a good block out on that far side by Brooks Allen. Yorkland. That's a tough shot. That took some moxie because when Vanover put those arms up, the basket kind of became a rumor to him. Vanover, again, Jurgen, same spot as before, again misses, got it back, puts it back. Jurgen's had a quiet 21 points, very efficient, 7 to 12, 2 of 3 against North Dakota here on Saturday night. To lead ORU. He's done a nice job defensively here in the early going on Rody. Step back three here for Rody. Letting them play here early. Not a lot of whistles. And Vanover. Three point parade continues. That one kind of came off the heel of his hand. It didn't have the proper rotation as you've seen the last few oh, times. Breakdown defensively there. Left a wide open lane to the rim for Rody. And a good job of taking advantage. Vanover's a little tired right now. He was out there hugging Allen. Rody saw that that whole light right lane had cleared out. Able to get all the way without fear of the shot block. Ten points in the paint already for St. Thomas. They got dominated in the lane against Western Illinois. But the big fella. I want to say rises up, Shaw, but he didn't hardly have to leave the floor. No, it's kind of like playing for him in a positive way on a nerf hoop. I mean, just once he catches it down there, just go the other way. Yorkland kicks it out. Allen for three. Boy, St. Thomas is playing with all kinds of confidence right now. And Brooks Allen, that's two main threes for him. So now Vanover, in addition to being a little fatigued, he has a decision to make. If he doesn't come out on Allen aggressively, he's making them pay. That'll create driving angles later. Ace was just dribbled away from the defense there. That's a quickness that he possesses. I mean, he, he gets into open space, and he's at the rim. And, and you have to shade out toward those three-point shooters because he's also unselfish and will kick it out. Rody. Tough turnaround there, well defended by Jurgens. Yeah, Jurgens has done a nice job so far. Both these teams need a break. This has been no stoppages. And Aismas drills his second three, and we're tied at 19.
Allen. <laughs> oh boy. Brooks Allen feeling it here in the Summer League semifinals. Yeah, that's a guy that shot 30% from three on the year. Allen. <laughs> oh boy. Brooks Allen feeling it here in the Summer League semifinals. Yeah, that's a guy that shot 30% from three on the year. Three of four to start this ball game. He's got 11 points already. Allen came in averaging eight and a half on the year. Good help there by Bjorkland. Really good job by Bjorkland. Thompson, tough finish. How about this execution and spreading the floor, forcing St. Thomas to defend all the defensive real estate? Miller's pass nearly picked off. Allen did a good job getting that back. And now he kicks it out. One more pass to the corner. Rody with bat over closing doesn't get there in time. And then how about the hockey assist for Brooks Allen? He gets in the lane, forces Oral Roberts to commit, then he kicks out to the quick reversal in the corner. Excellent, excellent start for Brooks Allen and St. Thomas. A quick little spurt for the Tommies. They're back in front by four. There we finally get a whistle on the foul for Andrew Rohde, but a back and forth start to this seventh league semifinal. Riley Miller and St. Tom communicate extremely well. The job that Jurgens has done on Rohde so far has been impressive. A couple of notes to pass along. Uh, Brooks Allen, what a start for him. 11 points on three of four from three, four of five overall. Max Ace was up to eight already. He has now passed Caleb Green for third on ORU's all-time scoring list. And Ace Miss came in with 2,501. He's at 2,509. And that's the third turnover for Oral Roberts. They only had two the entire game in their opening round game against North Dakota. Johnny Lee with the follow-up. Yeah, turnovers. These two teams take really good care of the basketball, Sean. You don't figure that that is going to play a major factor in this game and you never know come tournament time not, and how about the fact especially with this pace that st thomas has not turned it over at all shang weavers checked in that's going to be a foul on bjorklin and we're going to take another break catch up a little bit 841 to play first half tommy is by six here at sioux falls here for all here for good well, we didn't have long between breaks that time after a really good run of no whistles, but St. Thomas still managed to stretch their lead to six down at 27-21. And we get back to action in this Summer League semifinal. Wamba out there for the first time for Oral Roberts now. It's Shang Weaver onto the floor as well. Here's McBride. Good look. Tops a good hustle to keep it alive, and Mwamba corrals the loose ball. Really nice job by Kareem Thompson. Thompson, that's going to be poked away by Ryan Dufault. Wasika, Minnesota native, who redshirted last year, but has worked his way into a nice little role here for Johnny Towers' team. He was at about 12 and a half minutes per game. Definitely known for his defense. And these teams now, we have another media cut. Timeout coming here very, very shortly, so no need to leave anything in the tank here for the next few seconds. Nice job by Blue of moving his feet. Thompson pulls up for three, left it short. Or are you now three of 13 from three to start this game? They've attempted 20 shoot, 22 shots total. How about Dufault going Man. right at the player of the year? Ryan Dufault averaged under four points per game, but he's coming up big in that moment right there for St. Thomas, who's on another a little bit of a run here at 7 0. Kim Smith had his shot blocked, though, kept it alive, and he's got it again in the corner, guarded by Allen. We got off to that great start for St. Thomas. The Wamba, no putback, and a foul on Lee. And another break coming for us. 29-21. St. Thomas still 7:15 to play on the Egg Tech for 50% at 13 of 24. Meanwhile, St. Thomas right on their heels at 44.8%. St. Thomas 12 of 24 shots to start this game from beyond the arc. And 
Oral Roberts makes 11 threes per ball game. The Tommies just slightly behind at nine per outing. And, you know, the last sequence is going to be something to watch as this game unfolds, Jade. It's going to be on the backboard. This is a team in St. Thomas. Their margin for error when it comes to rebounding, not very high. They're last in the Summit League in terms of rebounding margin at minus three per ball game. They also don't get a whole lot of second chance opportunities because of how they play. Only eight offensive rebounds per ball game. That's also next to last in the Summit League. Shane Weaver with a couple of free throw misses out of that break. Those were the first attempts by either side in this game to this point. Johnny Lee left his turnaround short. But I like going inside with Vanover on the bench. Take advantage of him being on the bench. McBride, you see explosive. You talk about aces, but McBride's got every bit of that trade as well. That was a tough shot by McBride. He just put his shoulder right into the chest of Rody, who's a bigger player, and able to convert at the rim. That ends that latest St. Thomas run. Now, Rody, that was a tough shot there, falling away. And Aceness with the basketball back into the front court now for Oral Roberts. McBride bails him out on the pass, gets to the rim, and a late whistle there. That's going to go against. Uh, uh, nope, we got Riley Miller there instead. Let's check in with Darren Wallace. Hey guys, I was just in that St. Thomas huddle. That's a team you can see just in how they're playing, the confidence. You guys mentioned it a ton at the top of the show, and then during that incredible stretch of the beginning of the game, they can feel the confidence over on the bench. They're encouraging each other. They're saying, do the work early. Keep guarding their shooters. Keep making them uncomfortable. They feel like they can win this game. They felt like it before, and after that first stretch, they definitely feel it now. One of the key components to any upset, right? Believing you can do it. But they have come out here and just played with abandon. They were able to keep Oral Roberts out of the lane early. And, and now Oral Roberts, you can see, they were seeing the same thing we are. Hey, we're going to attack off the dribble, get into the paint. And if we can't score in there, we have enough shooters to spread the floor, kick it out, and we'll get our threes that way. So four straight down for McBride. Cuts the deficit back down to four. Oral Roberts, as impressive as their season, their run through the Summit League was, 18-0 is impressive no matter how you look at it, Sean, but Golden Eagle Bench wanted to travel there, didn't get it. Shot misfires, and Ace Miss grabs the rebound. Second time through the league, some teams were starting to play with the Golden Eagles. I mean, Nick McBride just taking things over right now. Six straight points, two off dribble drives by McBride, and a couple of free throws. They're making a concerted effort now to attack off the dribble and get in the lane. Yorkland denied by Vanover. Quickly backs the other way, comes A. Smith. McBride couldn't quite get the roll. Six nothing run right now for Oral Roberts after the last 90 plus seconds. St. Thomas overall is on nearly three minutes in this scoring drought. Miller unable to end it there. Nice job of running at Miller, not allowing him to catch and release. Kind of threw off his rhythm as he had to use the dribble. That over. Blue can't quite hold on to the rebound, so Oral Roberts will get a second crack at it here with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Lee returns to the lineup for St. Thomas. Ben now makes his first appearance of the ball game. As Miller and Allen have a seat for the Tommies. Patrick Mwamba, and a nice addition to this ORU lineup this year. Tell you what, Kendall Blue held his ground. Nice job defensively by the freshman. Bjorklund has to like that mismatch there. Dumps it down. Here's Lee. Back to Bjorklund. Looking for Rody. Got away from Ace Smith. Smart play by Thompson. He couldn't catch it himself. Tipped it to his teammate. Aismas rises up and knocks it down. Max Aismas into double figures. The first Golden Eagle to do it thus far. He's got 10. 
And their last eight points have either come in the lane or at the foul line. Even up at 29 apiece here. Underneath, there's a Johnny Lee and another block for Vanover. Boy, if you're going to take it up, you better get it up quick. Seven straight misses now for the Tommies. And a rare air ball there for Ace Miss, and it caught the baseline. And that'll take us to another timeout. What a ball game have we got going here. 29 29. Up and run. Yeah, they have seven offensive rebounds right now, and they haven't really made them pay yet. But at the end of the day, those are 50 50 balls. Those are extra opportunities for Oral Roberts. St. Thomas has to make sure they shore those things up. You do not want to give this ORU team any advantages. It's been a fun first 17 minutes. Final three of the first half with Jay and Shaw. Thanks, David. Ready? So you guys get at the half here. Three minutes to play in this opening frame of the opening Summit League semifinal contest. Here in 2023 Summit League Championship and Andrew Rohde out of the break for three. It's a tough shot by the freshman Rohde because Rivers did a pretty good job of keeping it in front and then contesting and that breaks a long drought the first points for the Tommies since the 743 mark. Wamba spies Jurgens all alone. He's having a tough time finding the basket right now. Yeah, I mean, he kind of got goaded into that because attacking the paint had paid dividends offensively for the Golden Eagles. Kendall Blue off a feed from now, bricks it. And how about against this athletic and really good defensive team of War Roberts? No turnovers yet for the Tommies. All right, 33 three point attempts between these teams already. He said it. We knew it was coming, and they have delivered for sure. Johnny Lee gives it off the bed now. Sped him up a little bit with Van Hover on his heels there. It's, it's interesting to read the body lang language of an offensive player where they know 35 is knocking on the door. There's Mwamba for three. Yeah, he's 41% from behind the arc on the year. This is a team in Or Roberts, as you mentioned, really proficient from the three-point line, 37% as a squad on the year. That ties us at 32. As we approach the one minute mark here at Sioux Falls. Yorkland. Double comes from Vanover. Needs some help. Finds Blue. Trying to split the defense. That's a reach there on Mawamba. Would you believe it or not? That is the first team foul on Oral Roberts. Comes the 53.4 second mark of the first half. Yeah, there hasn't been a whole lot of stoppages in play and that last offensive sequence which you saw with that outstanding view Jay was how well Oral Roberts spreads the floor that forced the purple jerseys of the Tommies to try to guard the whole perimeter then the skip pass by Thompson well done remember Brooks Allen got off to that great start over that first 10 minute run where there were no whistles has not taken a shot since then. They tried to get him back in here for that sequence because what he was doing, he was pulling Vanover away from the rim. Blue just isn't as comfortable taking that three-point shot. That was the first turnover of the ball game for St. Thomas. Yeah, you giving them a lot of credit yeah. here in this first half, taking great care of the basketball, which is something you have to do against Oral Roberts. Green and roll wasn't there, and now we've got it to McBride. His pass tipped away. And take it away by Kendall Blue. Good rotation defensively by St. Thomas. Probably not the best passing decision by McBride. There wasn't a whole lot of room there. Rody at the buzzer, and a blocking foul is called. Two free throws coming up for the stud freshman for St. Thomas. And watch what he does on this dribble drive. It's a small thing, and it's subtle. Watch him kind of slide while he's in the air. That doesn't allow the defender to completely square up on him. I thought live that was a block. I'm sticking with it. Goes against Ace Miss his first. First free throw of the night for St. Thomas. 
No one you would rather have at the strike. If you're Johnny Tower, 81%, maybe Riley Miller would be one guy you'd rather have. You could pick. Big difference here for St. Thomas. Trailing at the half versus going in with a lead at the half. Tommy's up 34-32. They're 15 and 1 when they lead at the break. They're 4 and 4 when they trail. Now they get the ball down here. And now they get the ball down here and a chance to do something extra before the break. As yeah. Paul Ma Paul Mills didn't like that at all. It gave Kareem Thompson a look like, what are we doing? And now two all night against North Dakota, they turn it over 9.2 per game on average. Yeah. The they were just stellar in that game against North Dakota. What has allowed this margin fair to increase right now for St. Thomas is taking care of the ball. Allen tried to get it into Rohde, and he did get a piece of it. Some some of the clock should have yeah, the stock should have caught. Start. Yeah. And they'll take a look. That's going to take at least a fraction of that second off, and Oral Roberts will still have 22 Olympics. This is what the Soviets did. Although they got like four tries to do it. <laughs> That's but now they're going to put the length of Lee back in front of Thompson and leave Allen down there to defend Vanover. Boy, he got it up there. And now Miller grabs and throws it the other way. What a finish to the half as Thompson misfires on the entry pass. I'm going to guess, Jay, that maybe the next time there's a similar situation, maybe. Basketball game, Sean, since January 21st at North Dakota. Other important note, they've only been behind eight times on the year. They're four and four in those such situations. Well, this is a very experienced team. They they know they're going to get everybody's best shot when they take the floor. That has certainly been the case here this evening. And I, this is going to be the end of the floor where I think they try to establish themselves, especially starting the second half. Came up short for Bjorklund, but Rohde chases down the offensive rebound. And... Tommy's get another crack at it here. Rohde picks up his dribble. Here's Kendall Blue. Yorkland going right at Vanover. Rolls off the cylinder. But what a move. Just not able to convert. And St. Thomas in this situation, Jay, without, once again, Riley Miller is scoreless. 40% from behind the arc on the year. And he's taken three, three shots tonight. Five shots in this tournament. All from beyond the arc. And yet to hit one. Jurgens leans into it. Noah Roberts has the lead back at 34-33. That's the first lead for ORU since it was 4-2. Parker Bjorklund. Couple of tough rolls there on the offensive end for St. Thomas on consecutive possession. When he had a couple of really good looks to start the, the half, just not able to knock him down. He just wanted the alley oop there for Van over and misfired just a touch. Now back we come with St. Thomas. Blue going to work on McBride. And Brooks Allen again had that hot start to this game. It's been quiet since. Maybe he can change that here. Yes, he does. Mm. Four, three of the ball game for Brooks Allen. He's got 14 points. And we've got another lead change. And don't be surprised if St. Thomas next time down the floor. Hey, keep riding the hot hand. Well, you've got 14 points for Allen, 13 for Rody and Vanover. Just a little fall away jumper from the 7-5 big man. up to nine points now. Not much you can do if you're Allen in that situation. Eastman has ten to lead the Golden Eagles. Oh boy. Didn't look where that ball was headed and it sailed on. Him. Yeah, it did. And that, that's the danger, Jay, of when you see it a lot more in today's game, making that one-handed pass. Because you don't have the ability to pull it back once it leaves. If you're passing with two hands, you have the ability to correct it, not if you're doing it with one. Vanover had it stripped away. I think it went off him, and it did. They say off the leg, and it goes down as a turnover. 
for Oral Roberts. That's a number worth paying attention to. That's seven or eight rather now already on the night. Again, averaging just over nine per season among the best in the entire country in that category. And a really good job of digging down on that dribble by Vanover. And that, that's a long way for the ball to travel to go from Vanover putting it on the floor. That's why he doesn't do it that much. Yorkland got the big fella to leave his feet and he throws it down. 11 points off those turnovers now for St. Thomas. To nothing for ORU in that category. And again, a quick three. Go inside if you're if you're ORU. That that has been what has allowed them to kind of crawl back in here, go inside, score, and then fan it out for the three. Yorkland trying to get home with the big guy again. Now he picks up his dribble, needs some help. Tries to hand it off to Rody, but they never connected. Ace Smith pushes the tempo as he does so well, throws it up and almost got it to go. And that was really that turnover. That was a tight passing quarters. And the other thing that was working against St. Thomas there, Jay, that end line was serving as an extra defender. They, they didn't have a whole lot of real estate to try to make that play. You almost want to do straight handoff there. Right. So Aceus will handle the inbound. There's 28 seconds to shoot for Oral Roberts. Aceus curls around. Blue did a good job closing out on that. Made it a little tougher on Aceus, and he misfires. Yorkland, good look for the corner. Oh, Allen almost got another. And a good pass by Jordan. He froze the initial defender with the pass fake. They got them to bite up top. That allowed him to pass it to the corner. Bad over from 15 feet. He's into double figures for the second straight game in this tournament. But what a touch by a guy 7-5. And that's not easy. When you're that close to the rim, a lot of times you see a guy with a line drive, but not him. He has a nice shooting stroke. Mm. Had the challenge of trying to defend Rody, and he's hung in there pretty well. But Rody beats him this time. And Rody did a really good job of coming off with momentum. And the other thing he did, he dipped his shoulder. That allowed him to get his hips by Jurgens just enough. 14 now for Rody. Equals Allen for the team high. Now Vanover from outside. Point struggles continue for Oral Roberts. Now four of 19 from beyond the arc. And we step away. 14.57 to play. St. Thomas still hanging tough here at the Summer League semifinals. Parker Bjorklund. Anna. What about for existing customers? Yep. Every, Every match? match? I bet, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Team all Summer League squad. So this is a team, they're just more than one faceted to say the least. Can't forget about Kareem Thompson who we talked about in the pregame. He's been solid coming off a 15-point performance against North Dakota. It's been quiet tonight. And as Bjorklund tries another three. Both teams with at least 19 attempts from beyond the arc. 39 in total. There's Vanover trying to tip it up over Bjorklund. And he'll head to the free throw line instead. That was a great example of the nonverbal communication we talked about a little bit earlier with the experience of their team. Now watch. He looks, he knows exactly where Vanover is going to be. Now it's easier to find a guy that's 7'5", <laughs> but you still have to know where to put it. Vanover, a really good free throw shooter. This is that one, but 82% on the year. Look at Paul Mills, who just today was named the finalist for the Skip Prosser Man of the Year award. Two misses at the stripe there for Van. Oh, he nice. passed up an easy layup yeah. to get it to Rody, who was cutting down the paint. But boy, I, I mean, I, don't, I think Duvall just didn't realize how alone he was yeah, there. He was wide open. I mean, they spread the floor, do the Tommies, and he's right there. You, you know what he 
was doing. He was even in that situation. He was looking to locate Van Over and that, even though Rody took one in the face, that was a basketball play. There was nothing malicious there. Rody back to the free throw line for the second time tonight. All right, let's check in with Darren Wallace quick. Hey guys, I was just in the ORU huddle. Head coach Paul Mills was saying, "Let's we're keep we're getting good shots, but we can't let Andrew Rody beat us. Rody's getting whatever he wants. Rody's up to 15 points now. That's, oh, yes, he's still got 15 points after that miss. They're looking to slow him down defensively. The Golden Eagles are." Second offensive rebound there for Bjorklund. Good ball movement here yeah. by the Tommies. Miller trying to get the lid off, but he just can't do it. It's just not been there for Riley Miller. It was, didn't look like he's in rhythm. And yeah. he's not a guy that needs to be in rhythm to hit shots like that, but that one was off the mark. It was off. He was kind of fighting his feet. What I mean by that, he didn't have a base under him. And when you're trying to shoot it from north to 20 feet, you need to have at least a good base and a nice job of kind of getting him out of the ball game now let him settle down at least maybe to the next media timeout Lace miss tosses a tough one up rebound tapped out here's mcbride and roadie splits the defense now he goes in transition lays it in with the left hand that's a tough finish what an athletic play what an athletic play by andrew roadie 13 not, points off turnovers. Not just to come up with it, but how about the speed dribble in front and the ability to finish with the offhand? Very impressive. 43-38, St. Thomas on top. They've led tonight by as many as eight. And McBride is fouled by default. Has to get another look at that steal and score for Andrew Rohde. Maximum effort here from the youngster. Now watch the speed drill. What? It's out in front. If that's to the side, there's no way that he's going to be able to get all the way to the complete. Look, he's chasing it down. You work on that, but you so rarely see it. And then his momentum was such, he had to kind of flip it back over his head. That's an athletic play in the open floor by Rohde. McBride attacking default and scores. Nice recognition by McBride and Oral Roberts of understanding they have the mismatch in terms of speed and quickness off the dribble. They spread the floor, let him go to work. McBride now with 10, third Golden Eagle in the double figures tonight. Manover leading the way with 11. Blue drops it back to Bjorklund. His momentum was taking him yep. away from the rim, that's why it was short. McBride quickly back, finds Van over and he throws it down. So, what was a five point lead just like that? Back down to one at 43 42. Allen. Working on Aismas, has that one deflected out, chased down by default. Now he has it stripped away. But gets it back, under five to shoot. Tries to go up and under against Vanover. And they're not going to get it off. That'll be a shot clock violation. Great defense from Oral Roberts on that possession. That'll take us to another timeout, 12 minutes. I'll take him. Spurt for Oral Roberts and the Golden Eagles are back on top 44 43 And again, it's, it comes off attacking the paint with the dribble when they've done that more times than not Or Roberts has been able to score or leave at the rim for Vanover. Vanover scored eight of the Golden Eagles 12 points in this half and Johnny Lee with the offensive rebound Oh boy Miller's trying anything to get something to go, but that was late shot clock. Didn't have much of a choice. And now up ahead, Mawamba fouled hard there by Riley Miller. And they are going to go flagrant there. Look, this is a team in Oral Roberts. They've gotten everybody's best shot throughout the course of not just the Summit League, but non-conference as well. Ace 
Davis will take the free throws for Oral Roberts. Good decision there, 91% yep. shooter. Gets two, then the Golden Eagles get the basketball to boot. And, and what happens is Wamba had to go out of the game with an injury. When that situation arises, the team whose player was injured gets to select the foul shooter. Not a bad selection to make. Wamba down there at the end of the Oral Roberts bench. It's like maybe left ankle getting tended to down there. Two flagrant free throws is all ORU gets on that trip. Their lead is three. An eight nothing run for Oral Roberts right now, and possibly counting here over the last couple of minutes. Here again. His shot blocked by Johnny Lee doing his best bat over. Nice job of waiting until the shooting motion started before he left his feet. Blue off the floater. Lee tried to throw it down off the putback. Couldn't quite get a hold of the basketball. He Smith to the corner for Jurgens. Beautiful basketball. Outstanding basketball. The pass from Van Over to Aismas, one dribble, kick to the far corner by Jurgens. Excellent spacing, well done by the Golden Eagles. Lead now at 11 nothing for ORU. Cody's pass. No one there to help him out. McBride took it away. Good job by McBride of. Using his peripheral vision, he knew Rhodey had run into trouble, and he just hopped that passing angle. Foul on the floor will go against Blue. But all of this movement by the ORU offense, it's really a beauty when it's humming like that. Yeah, give, go, get in. The they're the only undefeated team in all of Division One in conference play, and they're the second team in Summit history to go undefeated. Of course, the last one just a year ago, South Dakota State did it. Yeah, and this is a team that. Is showing some grit here as well. Yes, they're very high scoring, but it's been the defensive end of the floor and getting into the lane, which has allowed them to climb back and take the lead here. He Smith, relatively quiet by his standards again tonight. 12 points, but he's taken 11 shots to get there. He is two of five from three. He has six rebounds and four assists. So this guy yes. always contributes, whether he's scoring or not. Thomas needs to get out of this scoring drought, though. And that one knocked out of bounds by Oral Roberts. St. Thomas keeps it 13 seconds to shoot, but it's an 11-0 run now for ORU over the last 359. And a good, aggressive double team by Oral Roberts when Yorkland killed that dribble. And then they tried to angle it where his only pass was toward the sideline. And again, when you make that pass, that sideline is effectively serving as an additional defender. Brody for three. Oh, man. That's a good way to end the drought. How First about, points to the 13 34 mark. How about the job he did of going right, planting that foot, and then coming back in the quick release? Ooh, that was pretty. 49 46. Brody, by the way, up to 20 points for the ball game now. Well, the Summit League tournament has not been too big for the freshman. He started in the quarterfinal round, scored 19 of his 24 in the second half against Western Illinois. He's got 20 against the top seeded Golden Eagles here tonight. And that makes his 12th 20 point plus game on the year. And how about this? Eight of his last 10. <laughs> Good time to do that. For the freshman of the year in the Summit League, special player out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, mm. Johnny Lee. That guy's got a chance to be special, too. He really does, and a nice job by Lee of taking his time. And again, that's where the absence of Vanover, if you're St. Thomas, you have to be cognizant of that and attack the rim. You don't have to worry about that shot-blocking presence, and he took advantage. Shang Weaver and a blocking foul. Bucket counts. 
and a chance at a three-point play. Ben now tried to slide inside as the secondary defender. Might have been inside that restricted area. From our angle, it looked like he was inside that restricted area. But how about the job by Weaver of catching a pass that was leading him into a shot and then being able to go up, play through contact. His eyes never left the target. First points of the night for Chang Weaver. Talk top of the broadcast about the starting five and all the experience they had Sean well, Shane Weaver's got a ton of it too and that one's knocked out of bounds by ORU St. Thomas will keep it and we'll have the basketball back when we come back 51-48 ORU on top of the egg they can trust where what if meets why not 7.55 to go in the ball game. Or are you on top 51-48? What they have to say in that last time out there? Guys, Paul Mills has a lot of respect for the St. Thomas team. He said, we knew this would be a game. Max A. Smith was in the huddle saying, eight more minutes, fellas. Eight more minutes. Let's finish strong. Let's get this win. We're looking to do what they can. Hold on here in the closing minutes. Vanover was... Got that ball at its absolute highest point. Now A. Smith's back the other way. Lead back to five. ORU has never led by more than six in this game. St. Thomas up by as many as eight at one point. Brooks Allen. Finds Brody. Shakes off Thompson. Off the Brack Iron. And Mawambo is back out there. Good to see you. Went down hard after that foul from Riley Miller. First time he's been back in the game. Deep three for Acemus. Oh boy, it's an emotion off the make for Max Acemus. Seventeen points for the seven league player of the year. And now a loose ball foul going against the Johnny Lee. Max Acemus with his third triple of the night. NBA range and then some. Here. And how about the release? I mean, that was such a quick release. He was able to come off a little bit of a rub screen, and then that little back dribble got him just enough space to be able to knock it down from behind the arm. I think the foul actually did take St. Thomas over the limit, so 17 foul. And that means free throws the rest of the way for Oral Roberts. And Malambo will handle the honors. But Ace, we're talking about that release, Sean, and that's important. When you're six foot, 175, playing yeah. Division One college basketball, you better get rid of it quick. But in, in addition to the quick release, he always has a chance because when he's not having the ball in his hands and he's coming off the dribble and he's coming off screens, you watch him. He uh, is always in a basketball position. He's always shot ready. What I mean by that, his knees are bent and he's getting his feet set when the pass is on its way. That's if he's not able to come off the dribble with a little high, bit of a high ball screen as we saw just a couple possessions ago. Mwamba. Junior. And he misses the front end of the one and one. Oh, Roberts now 4 of 10 at the free throw line tonight. And that's a team that shoots 77% on the year. Tough finish there off the dribble there. Kendall Blue rising up and putting it in 56 50. First two points of the night for Kendall Blue, the freshman out of Woodbury, Minnesota. Aismith, heat check. Man over the offensive rebound. Fouled in the putback. And two more free throws coming for ORU. Aismith staple to use that fan dribble to get a pretty clean look. And nice job by Van over utilizing that shot fake. Shoot a couple. And as you, you mentioned it earlier, Jay, this is a guy that he can convert from this part of the ball game as well. 82% on the year. Missed his last two. Gets this one to roll through the cylinder. St. Thomas has dominated the offensive glass in the second half, Sean. Though that's 8-2 in favor of the Tommies. That was a big one there for Vanover. 
as he heads back to the free throw line. 17 points now, 10 rebounds for the big man. Transfer out of Arkansas for another double double. And he goes out here at the 606 mark, and my guess is he'll be over there until the next media timeout at the under four. Eight point lead for Oral Roberts, their largest of the ball game. Drops it off, Rody. Try to shake off Mwamba. Ace just came for the backside, knocked it out of bounds. Really good team defense. Watch the other white jersey come down here, seal off the baseline, and that allows Ace to come from the back. Nicely done defensively by the Golden Eagles. Rody to inbound. Sixth block shot of the night for Oral Roberts there. Tough three there for Rody. Felt the pressure. The shot clock winded down, I think. Runner for McBride. No good. And they'll blue the rebound. Wants to push. And a blocking foul. Whistled against Carlos Jurgens. Kendall Blue. Going end to end. Takes it off the board, and they're just not able to slide over and take it in the chest. Second foul on Jurgens. Third team foul for Oral Roberts. Townsend sort of stuck in the mud offensively here. Oh, what a crossover there for Rhodey. Leads to a good look for Allen. Or you couldn't corral that loose ball and so St. Thomas will get it back With Rody his change of pace is really impressive Or you has outscored the Tommies 26 17 since the break Time becoming a factor now the first of two spots in Tuesday's Summit League Championship game, available but to the winner here, Rody for three. I think they're gonna, I don't know if this is the timing issue. It's Ten rebounds. He's had himself a solid showing in his first Summit League tournament. Had 19 and six against North Dakota. First team member of the All Summit honors, as well as being the Defensive Player of the Year, and as many shots as he blocks, he discourages almost as many. And a blue swipes that pass away, and McBride cut him foul. off. But it's a good foul, as you said. Yep, in transition, avoided the easy two, and he had fouls to yep. give too. So now you get the chance to set up your defense. Smart play here, because he's going to the right. Just run through it, give the foul. Well done. Parker Bjorklin. Tommy's have missed five straight shots. One of their last 11 from the field and another scoring drought of more than two minutes now. And now you're starting to see that shot from Bjorklin was short for a couple reasons. I think he's getting a little tired. And the other thing, even if it's subconscious, they're fading back a little bit to try to get away from Vanover, who was trying to close out their arm. Jurgen's back into the game now, replacing Vanover as Aismas heads to the free throw line. That last foul on Rody, his second. Still a one on one for Aismas. Up 18 points. He's three for three so far at the free throw line. Cedar out of Rockwall, Texas. And the Summit League Player of the Year, not to mention a first team all Summit League selection. Over 2,500 points in his career. And his three threes tonight take him to 415 for his time at ORU. His first all time in the Summit League and second in ORU history. Yorkland 
puts it back. Nice hustle play by Bjorken and kind of bailing out what was a stagnant offensive sequence by the Tommies. It was always on the right side of the floor. They didn't flip the floor, but Bjorkland's hustle bailed him out. Eastman's, that was a tough one. Trying to get it up over the top of the defense. Now Rody and company pushing back the other way. Good defense there for Jurgens. Although the St. Thomas faithful thought there was a little too much contact. Tommy's though force another turnover. Oh, he was gonna pass it. He was gonna pass it. And Oral Roberts took it away. That's why he left it short, Jay. He was gonna pass that basketball. And we're gonna time out on the floor from Paul Mills. 308 to play in the ballgame. 60 to 52. Oral Roberts on top. The Golden Eagle. Max A. Smith. The alley-oop to Connor Vanover. He's been on the fun end of a couple of those here tonight. Vanover, great night for him. 17 points, 10 rebounds. Ace miss, 19 points. To go along with six rebounds and four assists. And those guys have come up big in this second half after ORU was trailing by one at the half. Yorkland could not quite get it to go, but he'll settle for two free throws. Nice job of sprinting the floor at the top of your screen by Bjorklund and against anybody else that's probably an and one but you saw him try to locate Vanover just enough that I think it threw off his shooting motion but a wonderful job of running that wing by Bjorklund. Bjorklund. 67 percent free throw shooter gets the first to go. He is in double figures but Bjorklund nowhere near as efficient as he was Last night again, Western Illinois, who's 5 of 15 from the field tonight, 0 of 6 from 3. 25 and 10, and that went over the 11 next to the quarterfinal round. But here we are, under three minutes to go, it's just a six point game. Thompson, inside out, Mawamba, good look for three, left it short. And Ben now was in the ball game for St. Thomas for the specific purpose of face guarding Aces and keeping the ball out of his hands. Brody. Just a touch, two strikes. See the frustration on yes. his face after that one. Felt like he should have finished. But again, even though Vanover didn't block that, Brody had to put a little bit more air under it than he usually would. Got caught up. Good defense that time. And ben now has done his job since he got in there. Or are you is on more than five minutes without a field goal here, Sean? It's allowed St. Thomas to stick with him. After trailing by as many as eight, Yorkland gets it up over the top of Vanover, and we've got a one possession ball game. 7 0 run for St. Thomas, and it's 60. And now, if you are Oral Roberts, okay, the next common foul, you're in the double bonus. You've been able to make some hay by getting in the lane with some dribble drives. Let's see if they do that here. St. Thomas has appeared to pick up a few more friends here late in this ballgame. Ace miss. And ORU trying to answer. Haven't had a field goal in nearly six minutes. McBride now. Working on Rody. Switches over to the rim. Nice floater. And a nice recognition. Don't settle, Jay. Get into the lane and force St. Thomas to make a decision defensively. Drops it off. Bjorklund wants another. In and out. That went all the way around the cylinder and came back out. I think we got a timeout on the floor there from Paul Mills. With 59.8 seconds remaining. 59.8 seconds remaining. Oral Roberts with the basketball. Both teams with one timeout remaining. St. 
Thomas can still play this straight up here. Yep. Ace Smith Phipps in the game, another shooter for Oral Roberts. First time we've seen him tonight. McBride tries to thread that one into Vanover. And Tower still telling his team not to foul here, but they're going to oh. get one on Rody. That's a tough one. Look, look where the shot clock is, Jay. It's at five. And you foul a 91% foul shooter about 28 feet away from the rim. That's a tough one if you're St. Thomas. There might have been some contact, but uh, there may be some salesmanship in Max Asmus this future. Asmus hits the first. Moaba and Jurgens back into the game. Vanover and Phipps will have a seat. Second free throw for A. Smith. Up and good. Stretches the lead to 7, 64, 57. Dave Thomas, got to go quick now. Rody all the way to the rim, in and out. Moaba the rebound. And a foul quickly there for Bjorklund. And two more free throws coming up for ORU. That might do it. Third foul on Bjorklund, and Mwamba steps to the free throw line for the first of two. St. Thomas has had a few different yep. opportunities go all the way around the bucket and just not drop for him here. They've had good looks. They did. That, the most recent one from Rody, he was really frustrated when that didn't find the bottom of the well because he covered a lot of ground to get there, and he recognized that Vanover wasn't in there, and there was still enough time where you would try to get that two and then extend the game even though this is a very good foul shooting team in the form of Oral Roberts You still want to give yourself a chance by extending Lava gets them both And here's Kendall Blue Tommy Again, have to go quick. That one does go, and we get a quick timeout from Johnny Tower with 21.5 seconds remaining. And that is an athletic finish by Kendall Blue against St. Thomas. So pressure here as they get set the inbound with Kareem Thompson underneath. Inbound goes to A. Smith. Yeah, he's not going to give it up, nor should he. And the foul goes to Ben now, and two more free throws coming up for Max A. Smith. And they took about four seconds even off the clock, down to 17.4. Riley Miller. Checks back in. Brooks Allen, Ben Now, and Ryan is called. Leave the floor. Vanover. Fitz back to the bench for ORU. And two more to strike for Max Aismas. He has helped put it away there. And Rody a deep three. Maybe it's not over. That's a deep three there. Remember, no timeouts for St. Thomas McBride. And Allen gets a piece to stop the clock with 11 ticks remaining. Boy, that was a deep shot from Andrew Rohde. And he just looks like he's kind of gimping a little bit, like he might have taken the knee to the thigh here, but this is deep. I mean, if this is in the old, this is probably for you, the old rock and jog game, that may be one of those, like, six-point shots. <laughs> that was, that was right about the... The edge of the coach's box there, that little line yeah. on the floor. Solid five feet beyond the perimeter. But McBride knocks down two more free throws. Kendall Blue will hustle, but at this point, it probably will be too little, too late, no matter what happens. Miller gets it back. We'll get one more shot from Allen. Hits it with 1.3 seconds remaining. And now ORU essentially just has to get the ball inbounded. They do, and that will do it. 
ORU a gritty performance here in the Summit League semifinals. And the Golden Eagles are marching on to the second.